welcome to the channel, I'm The Standard and this is The Geek In Review. So I was going to do a Giorgio Theory video, but as the clip for this week's show has let the reveal about what's going on with our slip, there's no point in doing that, so I decided to look at the burn instead. Now in this, I'm going to try and break down what we know, which isn't much, so stick around because this will be a very quick video. I'm also going to do one on the short Calypso as well, so there will be a crossover of ideas, so who knows, maybe universes as well, so let's see. So what do we know about the burn? It happened about 120 years ago and no one has figured out why or what caused it. We've learned the Vulcans, or the Navarre, the Navari, I mean, uh, uh, as they don't really address that one so I'm not really sure, but so, someone will work it out, someone will work it out, don't worry about it. But what we do learn though is that they do think that they were responsible due to the experiments they were carrying out and the alternative methods of travel that don't involve dilithium or warp. Now, they did hand over some data to the Discovery and we don't exactly know what that data is. We haven't got much of a view on that yet. But it does seem to be carrying the plot along, so let's try and look into it as much as we can. We learned last week that the source of the burn is a nebula, and in the nebula there's a federation ship. The, the nebula being the flashpoint and the ship in it, in my opinion, are two different points. The ship might not have caused the burn, but somehow have worked out where the origin point is and arrived there, or they could have been nearby when the burn originally happened as well. I guess that's going to get explained slowly. But hey, that's the way they're doing this season. So all I'm saying is that the ship might not be the cause. In fact, the ship might be the solution to the burn. I bet you didn't think of that one, did you? But I did post it on Twitter yesterday just to make sure that I wasn't making this up after I'd watched this week's episode, which I haven't yet. So this theory might not make any sense, but I'm just going to keep doing it anyway. We've had it mentioned that there's not been a Terran crossing in nearly 500 years. Now this was recorded before this week's episode Terra Prime, so I could already be wrong if you're listening to this, but hey ho, let's keep going anyway. You never know, I might actually be right and it could be worth listening to this. So again, just keep at it, leave a like, leave a subscribe, it'll be great. So could an attempted at Terran crossing or crossing from the Prime side to the Terran side have caused this? Maybe. In fact, I'm going to rank this idea, I'm going to rank all these ideas with rank. So this one I'm going to say is a lieutenant. We know that something's going on with Giorgio and I think there's going to be some sort of mirror universe element going back and forth that we're going to see. Whether this caused the burn or whether it contributed to a factor that led up to the burn, I don't know. Another idea is what's in the nebula. Is it the Enterprise J? Christ, I hope not, but some people actually think this is possible. I just thought I'd get this out of the way, and I'm going to rank this idea Ensign. It's not happening, I'm not having it, it's Harry Kim, it's staying on the bridge. Another popular idea that's going around is the ship itself is Discovery. Okay, so I've not I've said more than once that I'm doing another video on Calypso, but here's the quick version of that video and what my idea is. Yes, I think it could be an alternative Discovery caused by time travel that's in the nebula. In the last season, Michael's mum mentioned that she'd seen things happen hundreds of times and jumped back and made several changes and then it hadn't worked out. So we know that time travel doesn't run smoothly. Now, they might be doing something like the Avengers Endgame where if you change something in the past it doesn't really affect the future kind of thing or it could be a time loop. It's Star Trek, there could be 101 ways that they're going to do time travel and make it work and maybe come up with a new explanation or a new spin that we've not seen. It could also be something involving the temporal cold war as well and a leftover sort of mega weapon or nuclear weapon in there. We just don't know. So yes, I think the ship of the nebula could be Discovery. Do I think it caused the burn? No. Again, I think it could be the solution to the problem itself rather than the cause, but again, we're going to have to wait and see, so subscribe and leave a like so you don't miss any videos. Now, these are just my theories, but what do you think? We probably found out by now, and if we haven't, they've given us a little hint, because again, this show is going very slow. I'm trying not to say a slow burner. I did there, forget about it. I've not made any burn jokes. It's going well so far, and you made it this far. It's great. We're getting through this. But also, what if what we've seen in the Star Trek short Calypso is also the solution we're seeing and it's not the cause? We're assuming that Calypso could lead up to the events, not that something that's happened afterwards. But again, I'm going to get into that in my Calypso video a little later on today. So thanks for watching guys. I've been The Standard. This has been The Geek In Review. Have a great weekend. Let me know what you think about my theories and this week's discovery and take care of yourself.